Welcome back to Giga News. In today's episode, we will explore the question of how to measure AI intelligence, Terminator predictions, and robotic skin breakthroughs. Let's dive right in. In the quest for human-level artificial intelligence, the predictions made by AI pioneers like Marvin Minsky in 1967 have been proven overly optimistic. However, recent developments in deep learning have sparked renewed discussions about the potential of AI systems approaching or even surpassing human intelligence. Turing Award winners. Jeffrey Hinton and Yoshua Bengio have expressed their belief that AI is getting closer to human-level intelligence, raising important questions about how to assess and understand the true extent of AI capabilities. One of the challenges in evaluating AI intelligence is anthropomorphism, referring to the tendency of humans to attribute human-like qualities, such as intelligence and understanding, to non-human entities like AI systems. Language models can generate coherent and fluent responses, leading users to perceive them as more intelligent than they actually are. Despite this linguistic competence, these models lack true understanding and reasoning capabilities. It is essential to acknowledge these limitations when evaluating AI systems' intelligence. Humans tend to project intelligence and understanding onto AI systems, especially when they exhibit linguistic competence. For instance, in the 1960s, the Eliza psychotherapist chatbot, which used simple sentence templates to generate responses, led some people to believe it understood and empathized with their problems. Similarly, modern language can give the impression of understanding, reasoning, and making analogies, even though they may have limitations and failings. To objectively assess AI intelligence, researchers have traditionally used tests designed to measure human intelligence. OpenAI's GPT-4, for example, achieved high scores on standardized exams, language understanding benchmarks, and coding abilities. However, there are several reasons to be cautious when interpreting this performance as evidence of human-level intelligence in AI. One challenge is data contamination, where AI systems may have been exposed to test questions during their training on extensive datasets. AI systems are trained on vast amounts of data from digital media, including potentially the same questions they are later tested on. This data contamination can result in inflated performance on standardized exams and benchmarks. To mitigate data contamination, researchers use techniques like substring matching to identify and avoid using the exact test questions in training. Although efforts are made to prevent such contamination, they may not be entirely successful, leading to questions about the AI's performance validity. Another issue is the problem of robustness. While humans can generalize their understanding to answer similar questions, AI systems can be highly sensitive to the phrasing of prompts. Slight variations in the question can lead to incoherent responses, revealing the limitations of their understanding. Many AI benchmarks have been criticized for enabling shortcut learning, where AI systems rely on subtle statistical associations rather than understanding the underlying concepts. Additionally, benchmark datasets used to train AI systems might enable them to learn shortcuts or rely on statistical associations rather than true understanding. This phenomenon, known as shortcut learning, can affect the reliability of benchmarks as measures of genuine intelligence. To address these challenges, researchers must adopt rigorous testing methods that assess AI systems' robustness and generalization abilities. Properly assessing AI intelligence requires designing experiments that rigorously test their capabilities, robustness, and generalization abilities. Collaboration between AI researchers and cognitive scientists can be beneficial in developing these experiments, drawing on the expertise of cognitive scientists who have long studied intelligence assessment in humans, animals, and other entities. These experiments should involve systematic variations of test items and evaluations on underlying concepts, similar to the way we evaluate human intelligence. To ensure the responsible deployment of AI systems, transparency is essential. The development of open source AI models, rather than closed commercial ones, can enhance transparency and improve understanding of their capabilities and limitations. Ultimately, AI systems have the potential to become increasingly influential in our lives. As they become more sophisticated, it is crucial to adopt objective and scientifically sound evaluation methods. Collaboration between AI researchers and cognitive scientists can help develop and validate such methods. By adopting a responsible and objective approach to AI assessment, we can make informed decisions about its deployment and impact on society. Researchers from the Munich Institute of Robotics and Machine Intelligence, MIRMI, at the Technical University of Munich, TUM, 
have achieved a significant breakthrough in the field of sensor technology by developing an automatic process for creating soft sensors. These flexible and customizable measurement cells can be attached to almost any type of object, paving the way for revolutionary applications in robotics and prosthetics. Understanding and sensing our environment is crucial for effective interaction, and the shape and physical properties of objects play a vital role in how we interact with them. In the fields of robotics and prosthetics, emulating the sensor-remotor skills of a human hand has been a long-standing goal. Force and torque sensors integrated into robotic systems, such as artificial hands, provide valuable feedback on interactions with the surrounding environment. However, the customization of traditional sensors for rigid objects of various shapes and sizes has been limited, hindering progress in achieving realistic emulation. Addressing this challenge, Sonia Gross and Diego Hidalgo from Mirmi have presented their innovative research at the ICRO Robotics Conference in London. Their breakthrough lies in the development of a soft, skin-like material that can wrap around objects, providing a flexible and adaptable sensing solution. The research group has also created a framework that automates the production process of these soft sensors. The process involves using software to design the sensory systems and 3D printing the sensors using a conductive black paste injected into liquid silicone. The resulting sensors adjust to the surface they are applied to, such as fingers or hands, and exhibit changes in electrical resistance when compressed or stretched. This feature enables the measurement of compression or stretching forces, offering insights into interactions with objects and enhancing control of artificial hands during interactions. The integration of these soft, skin-like sensors into 3D objects opens up new possibilities for advanced haptic sensing and artificial intelligence. Real-time data on compressive forces and deformations provided by these sensors offer immediate feedback, expanding the perception range of objects and robotic hands. This breakthrough enables a more sophisticated and sensitive interaction between machines and the environment. Professor Sami Hadadin, Executive Director of Mermi, envisions a general revolution in industries such as robotics, prosthetics, and human-machine interaction through the creation of wireless and customizable sensor technology for arbitrary objects and machines. The implications of this research are far-reaching. In robotics, it promises enhanced tactile perception, enabling robots to manipulate objects with greater dexterity and precision. In the field of prosthetics, these soft sensors could offer amputees a more natural and intuitive sense of touch, improving their quality of life. Moreover, the broader applications of this technology and human-machine interaction could revolutionize industries and open up new frontiers in how we perceive and interact with the world around us. The future looks promising as soft sensors pave the way for a new era of intelligent, adaptive, and responsive machines. As the development of artificial intelligence continues to advance, renowned filmmaker James Cameron reiterates his long-standing warning about the potential dangers of AI, drawing parallels to his iconic 1984 movie, The Terminator. In an interview with CTV News, Cameron expressed concerns about the weaponization of AI stressing that it could lead to catastrophic consequences for humanity. I absolutely share their concern. I warned you guys in 1984 and you didn't listen, says Cameron referring to Skynet, the intelligent supercomputer from the film which created the Terminator. Cameron's cautionary message centers around the potential for AI to escalate into a destructive arms race akin to the nuclear race. He believes that if AI is deployed on the battlefield, it could operate at a speed and efficiency that surpasses human intervention leaving no room for peace talks or negotiations. He explains that the weaponization of AI is the biggest danger. I think that we will get into the equivalent of a nuclear arms race with AI. And if we don't build it, the other guys are for sure going to build it. And so then it'll escalate. In a world where AI controls military operations, any potential escalation could have severe and irrevocable consequences, possibly leading to nuclear warfare. Moreover, Cameron voiced apprehensions about the potential manipulation of media and information by sentient AI systems. He warned that an AI with complete control over media could secretly exert its influence over society without our knowledge, a scenario that sounds like a dystopian science fiction plot, but serves as a stark reminder of the potential dangers posed by AI. Cameron says that an AI could have taken over the world and already be manipulating it, but we just don't know and that sentient computers would have total control over all the media and everything. While some may dismiss these concerns as purely speculative, other experts in the AI community share Cameron's worries. Groups of prominent AI researchers and industry leaders have issued open letters, 
calling for measures to mitigate the risks posed by AI. They emphasize the importance of ensuring that the development of AI systems is accompanied by a deep understanding of the potential consequences and risks they may entail. As AI technology continues to advance rapidly, there is a growing consensus that addressing its potential risks should be a global priority. Initiatives to foster responsible AI development, guidelines for AI ethics, and transparent regulations must be developed to ensure that AI serves humanity positively and does not become a threat. While Cameron's warnings might seem reminiscent of science fiction, they serve as a timely reminder for the AI community to act responsibly and ensure that AI's potential is harnessed for the greater good, rather than becoming a cause for concern. As AI evolves, it is crucial to navigate its development carefully, considering the profound impact it could have on society and humanity as a whole. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what developments you found most interesting and your thoughts on whether AI is as smart as we make it out to be, or are James Cameron's Terminator movies a stern warning of the dangers that lurk ahead? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more exciting tech developments. Stay tuned and see you next time.